hello welcome back to my channel today's video is a product unboxing and review now some time ago you might remember the guys at Altenic sent me a stick hoover to try which um, I brought over here and gave to mum you may notice I'm back in mum's house again there's nothing wrong with that stick vacuum but the guys at Altenic sent me a robot vacuum to try I felt like this was a bad idea in my house firstly I don't have carpet downstairs I only have a rug so it wouldn't get a fair go Although I do believe it does hard floors as well. But secondly, I felt like Molly would kill it immediately. So I brought it over to Mum's to try out. Now Mum doesn't want to keep the robot vacuum because I think she's worried it would be a trip hazard for her. It might hoover her up when she's wandering around. So I think the idea is that we're going to try it and then we're going to give it to Lainey who's doing a charity raffle. So I hope that whoever wins it won't mind that it's been tried. I've got to try it because that's what the guys at Altenic wanted me to do. But it will go then to a, to a good cause afterwards. Mum, off camera. <laughs> so we're going to have a look at what's in the box, unbox it and set it going while we're out and about and see if it's done a good job when we come back. So here is the box of Altenic. There's one of Mum's crochet squares there. I'll move that. Here is the box from Altenic with the uh, robot hoover in it. There will be links below the video in case you want to check out one of these for yourself. Let's have a look at what's in the box. So there we go, we've got user manual, little cleaning and hair cutting brush for getting hair off its rollers, batteries which must be for its remote I'm assuming, various other bits and bobs. So there's all my component parts, we've got your main body of your hoover, this is his little docking station where he'll go home to when he's finished his job, he's got remote control and batteries, a spare filter, some three M pads, I haven't found out what they're for yet because I haven't yet read the end user manual. This is a spare cleaning cloth and then this is his cleaning section which attaches to him with his cloth on. There's his charging plug, brushes and as I said the little uh, hair and cleaning cutter. So I'm going to have a quick look at the user manual and make sure I know what I'm doing. Okay it says plug in the charging dock and take the rest of the wire into the trunking at the bottom of the dock. If you don't tuck away the wire he might eat it so it's just as well we've done that. Place the charging dock on a hard level surface and against a wall. I don't know if the carpet is going to be a hard level surface, but it's all he's getting today. So let's hope he's okay with that. Uh, make sure the base is open and uncluttered. He's supposed to have two meters clear in front of him and one meter on both sides. I don't think there's anywhere in mum's house where I can achieve that. I'm afraid we might be bodging this because none of mum's plug sockets are a meter away from another wall. So can't be helped. Okay, attach the side brushes to the bottom of the robot by pressing a, pressing a brush, in, brush into each slot. Oh, this is a side brush, yeah. Natalie's got the side brushes and she is pressing a brush into each slot. It does say, please make sure the indicator light is on when charging dog is plugged in, otherwise the robot can't be charged. And we definitely had, yeah, we have got an indicator light. That's the green light on the top there. Not there, is it? I wonder if they're different ones for different, let's say, short hair yeah. length. Is it just two? So, oh, okay, so there's two and two spares, is that it? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Can't see oh, yeah, two. yeah, on the picture there's two. Can't see two spaces. Okay, two place, more. place a robot onto the charging dock and make sure the metal charging contents on the charging dock match up with those underneath the robot. If successful, you will hear a series of tones. There we go, we definitely heard a series of tones and he is quite happily now charging away. To start the cleaning cycle, press the power button once to wake up the robot and press it again or press the auto button to start a cleaning cycle. Okay, so that's got the remote. Pressing the power button once to wake up the robot. Maybe. Oh, it's on the robot, not on the remote. Yeah, I'm sorry, see the power button on him. Press the power button once to wake up the robot. Power button press the auto button on the remote control to start a cleaning cycle. Ah, auto. Play. The play button is the pause. To pause the robot, press the power button or press the pause button on the remote. And to start him again, press the power or press the pause. So he should be going. I think maybe he's charging a bit. I think we're going to leave him on auto and see if he's done anything when we come home. We've certainly done everything we should have done. So hopefully he's going to set off and do wonderful things while we're out. This is a mop head, I realise. This is, this is, he's got his brush head on now. 
but this is his mop head so he will also mop floors and a spare mop head cover there as well he assaulted me we've established the fact that we hadn't actually switched him on it's not that we're idiots honestly we have switched him on now and he's decided to start clubbing stuff to death off he goes don't go back to your corner that bit's clean oh, i need a name for him He's the old tenant. I need a, ma a male name beginning with you because I'm pretty sure he's a bloke. Uriah, That's as in Uriah up. Heap from Charles Dickens. That's what popped up on Google. Uriah seems a bit mean. Uriah Heap wasn't a very nice bloke. Or Ulysses. Ulysses. Ulysses is a great name. Right, we've pleasant him, Ulysses. He's actually doing a lovely job. He's leaving nice hoover lines. For those people who like hoover lines in the carpet, he's doing a cracking job of that. Right my he's going to bump into it and go, oh, it's you. And then he maps the side, side, side of your foot and off he goes, look. I think he's cute. So while Ulysses is pottering around on mum's floor, let me just give you some information about him. He's not actually called Ulysses at all. He is called the Ultenic D5S Pro Robot Vacuum Cleaner with Mop. He has 2,500 PA suction. He is Wi-Fi connectable, quiet, super thin, um, and can be controlled with Alexa. With a strong suction of 2,500 PA, the D5S Pro Robotic Vacuum can easily pick up dust, hair, and dirt. The suction is available in three levels, which meets your different needs. It's equipped with a 400 milliliter dustbin and a 300 milliliter water tank with mop, enabling the robot clean to vacuum and mop at the same time. The suction power can be adjusted according to your needs, which helps you clean different types of floors and vacuum pet hair without any noise. With the 300 millimeter large capacity water tank equipped, the robot has three adjustable levels of mopping. Supports up to 120 minutes of constant cleaning at a low noise of less than 60 decibels, which is ideal for both household and public places. It will automatically go back to the charging station after finishing the cleaning or when the battery is low. With the technology of Ultra Carpet Boost, the suction power of the robotic vacuum cleaner can reach up to 2,500 PA, which helps you clean and vacuum pet hair on the carpet easily. The robot can be controlled remotely, not only by remote control, but it can also connect with the app, the Alternic app, to schedule cleaning plans, adjust just suction levels, change cleaning modes, etc. Being compatible with Alexa and Google Home also allows the robot vacuum cleaner to be controlled with voice commands. I discovered what the other bits are for. So this is boundary tape that you put across doors to stop him going into wrong rooms. So if he comes to this bit of tape, he'll avoid that. So maybe if you had, I don't know, for example an indoor pet cage and you didn't want him to go close to it in case he disturbed the pet, I suppose you could put a boundary around that. Or kids if there were rooms, just, yeah, kids rooms. Like bits of let you want yeah. to pick up bits that were too big. Yeah, any rooms that you don't want him to go into, you put the boundary tape and that keeps him out. And then this is his water tank for mopping and his spare mop head. And I think we found, oh, we got, we got four side brushes, but he only takes two at a time. And then that's a spare filter. He's doing a cracking job. He's covered every bit of the floor, apart from when he got to nap. There's a little bit of muck by your foot there, Nat, and he wow. got, because he avoided your foot. Bit of fluff, look. Yeah. I'm going to put that in his path so that we can watch him get it. That little bit of fluff there, it was under Nat's foot, so he avoided that. But he's going to come back this way in a minute. He's pretty cool now. Oh, here he comes. Him. There's a the bit of fluff. And it's gone. <laughs> So he doesn't bump into the skirting boards. He just goes, whoa, there's a wall and comes back again, which yeah. I think is brilliant. So he's not taking your paint off. He, avoid, he avoided naps. Yeah. He's going to struggle to get... He's got to realise that the bed's there, isn't he? Because he keeps yeah, going... He's, I he's think he will, because it'll come up to air. Yeah. Do that bit, yeah. He's been over that bit a couple of times now, so he's not... What turning he's not pro go? progressing far enough. When he gets to here, he comes on a bit of a slump. And misses the bed again. Oh, no, there we go. Well done, Ulysses. Yeah, well yeah. done, that man. Clever, they are clever, aren't they? You can get this up. Just He's doing a brilliant job, and he is proper leaving hoover lines on the floor. Yeah. 
Right, the idea is to go out and leave him and he will do as much of the floor as his battery allows him in the various rooms and then when his battery starts to go short he'll go back to his docking station. That's the idea. So when we come home, right. he should be back in his docking station against the wall, recharging. Unless he's conked out somewhere you in the house because he couldn't find his way back. On a white sl- a slight slump. Yeah. Like now. Will he go to my bedroom? Not, not, not if you don't want him to. We can shut to Mum's bedroom so that we could pick up any wires that were on the floor in there. And when I came back, he'd made it into the front room. So he's now doing the front room. He doesn't seem bothered by your swirly carpet. He's not been sick. <laughs> There's an on- ongoing joke that this carpet is much more swirly than Mum thought it would be and she doesn't like it as much as she thought it would. Now it's down. So it's too much of it. That's the same this, this, yeah, this, it's a big carpet and there's a lot of swirl. But, but also, a rug would be a trip hazard, so that's another... You can't see that when you're in the, um, in the showroom. You just no. See it, but yeah, Ulysses doesn't mind. Look, it hasn't upset him. Clever. Right, we should uh, we should go out and see how he gets home while we're out. He's no. We haven't gone out yet. We're just about to go, and he's changed his he's turned his suction off. He's flashing orange, and I think he's trying to go home to his docking station. I think his battery is is running low. To be fair, he hadn't had much of a charge because we took him out of the box, put him in the docking yeah. station, and said, "Off you go, then, matey." Yeah. It did, so I think know. he's trying to find his docking station now. Really I feel funny. guilty. I feel like I should help him. <laughs> Don't eat that wire. <laughs> See, I would. I go. <laughs> I've got to be honest. He had trouble getting back to his docking station, but I want to take the responsibility for the fact that we have put his docking station in a corner where it wasn't meant to go. You're supposed to have two meters clearance at the front and a meter either side so i think that's our fault that he couldn't find his docking station bless him he's going to sit there and recharge and i'll be interested to see when i come back if he's set off again or whether he's just stayed there and recharged all the time we were out so mum pointed out that this hallway socket He's, has much more space around it so we've moved it there and I put him down and he got back into his charging socket quite happily just there so um so he's going to sit there and recharge and like I said we'll see when we come back what he's done yeah. quite interesting there's a little patch of crumminess there like you know little bits of like bits of fluff and whatever so it'd be interesting to see if he has come out of his home while we're out and cleaned that up or whether he's just stayed there and slept have a nice nap Ulysses well, we're back and Ulysses is here somewhere because I can hear him. Where is he? There he is. He's gone back to do a bit more of the front room. He seems quite happy. He's uh, trodden along. He's had a nice recharge on his base. He's doing a very conscientious job of this bit of floor. But I think he's still learning where everything is in the house, which is a shame because he's never going to need to know it again. Mother is worried that if she keeps him, she'll fall over him. And I can see her point. They're probably not ideal for the elderly but um if I put my foot there look he goes oh there's your foot and goes around me and goes back the other way test for him I'm gonna empty out this tea bag and see how he gets on with clearing it up there we go he's off no he's changed his mind he doesn't like tea I don't blame him I'm not a massive tea drinker myself Ooh. there he goes um. that wasn't bad for a first sweep So he's not going to get it all on the first go because his brushes are on the side so he's got to go over it a couple of times. Yeah. 
But I would say he's already picked up 50% of it, and he'll go yeah, over that would... several times. Here he comes again. Is he get... I think he might miss it this time. You missed it that time, Ulysses. Not me. I think he's after me. He is, he's after me, look. Yeah. He's a killer. Ooh. I think he's finding this room a bit confusing because it's not straight edges. It, you know, he's, he does that bit and then he comes across here. But I'm sure he'll get the hang of it. Okay, Ulysses and I are back home. I am going to find out how to empty him. So I've got the instructions here for empty the robot's bin. Press bin release button to remove the bin. His bin is on the side. I can't see because I've got the wrong specs on. That's not helpful, is it? If I'd looked carefully, I'd have seen that there's instructions on here as well. Take off the dustbin. Shake off the garbage on the filter. Open the... Oh. I'm reading it the wrong way. Take off the dustbin. Open dustbin. Pour out rubbish. Open the dustbin cover and take out the filter. Shake out the garbage off the filter. Clean the dustbin. Dustband and filter with a clean brush. Rinse the dustbin and reinstall the filter and dustbin after drying them. Okay. First I've lifted up the brush cover because I want to clean the stuff off the brush. And that just lifts out, I believe. Yeah, that just lifts out. I'm going to clean that. the bin press the button on the top to open it and there is Ulysses little collection of carpet fluff and quite a lot of tea leaves to be fair out of that tea bag that I tested him with I think he did pretty well really like I said mum's floors aren't particularly grubby a lot of this is just carpet fluff take the filter out of the top There isn't any major bits of debris on there. That's pretty clean. And then you can brush this bit out with the little brush. Make sure there's nothing trapped there. Both sides. I've got to say, I'm going to do a better job of cleaning it than you probably would if you were going to keep it and use it again yourself because I want it to go off to its new owner, whoever gets it in the charity raffle that Lainey's doing. I want it to go to them in as good condition, as, sorry, fluff everywhere now, in as good condition as I can send it. You probably wouldn't need to clean it to quite the extent I'm going to if you were going to keep it yourself and use it yourself. But let me just show you from above. That's what Ulysses collected. And I think he's done a pretty good job. Quite a lot of carpet fluff. But then Mum has got two quite new carpets, so they will be shedding. A little bit of a uh, little bit of hair and stuff there, but nothing major. And then all those tea leaves from that tea bag that I emptied out onto the floor. So well done, Ulysses. He's, he's sitting there in his um, in all his component parts glory. I'm going to clean him nicely and put him back together and pack him back up as best I can to the way he arrived, so that he can go off to Laney. The bit I didn't tell you is that he also mops. So there is. A section here that you pop water in he's got a mop pad and he will mop your kitchen floor for you and that just pops on where the dust tank comes off so he's a multifunctional little being i'm quite um, quite impressed with that thank you so much to the guys at Altenic for sending me ulysses to play with i've had great fun playing with him i wish i could keep him if i'm honest but molly really would destroy him at any given opportunity so um yeah, this house is not fit for a robot hoover. And like I said, mum was just a bit wary. Mum's a bit wary of anything new anyway. So she was brave enough to let me try it, but she's not brave enough to live with it. <laughs> so, but thank you so much to the guys at Altenic. There is a discount code for you guys to use. I'm going to put that on the screen and down below for you as well. All the links are there in the description box if you want to go and check out Altenic. And um, that's it. I'll be back soon. Take care. Bye for now.